peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here a beautiful day we ain't even had breakfast yet but we are in heaven can i get a hello there how to take back your life when you're broken someone wrote in saying they've lost it all they've lost money relationships connections to their family and their job self-respect right they feel their whole life is falling apart right in front of them and they're scared they feel lost like nobody's around to help and i get this a lot as a psychologist but more so as someone who grew up falling on my ass a lot because i was skateboarding i'm gonna tell you a very simple secret it's okay to fall. Say it again, Ralph. It's okay to fall. Can I get a hello there? Well, growing up, we, did, we didn't really have a choice, to be honest. I was just skating and you fall down and it hurts your butt a lot, right? You see, in this society, we have been told that we have to be perfect all the time. Do you know what this does to your mind, body, and soul? We now live with tremendous expectation to be somebody we are not. That is why you feel broken. Because you are trying to be fixed. In essence, be someone else. You aren't broken, even though you feel you are broken. Many times, we don't realize we can rewrite our story at any time. You're only on chapter one, baby, right? And yes, it's looking pretty grim, but you can erase that and write chapter one again, or you can wait for chapter two and realize that it's going to get a whole lot better. You see, it's really in the hardest moments you learn the most about yourself. You're pushed to the limits and nobody is getting off, right? Every day I'm dealing with a hell of a lot of stuff. But the cat down the road is always helping me. Can I get a hello there? If you don't smile, you're going to cry. So learn how to not feel guilty about enjoying yourself, right? Learn that. Turn to nature, right? I'm surrounded by nature every single day because nature is helping me. It is healing me. What are some of the words you are saying, right? Because some people say, my life is a mess. Do you know what that does to your subconscious mind? It makes you live a very messy life. A very messy life. But more so, your daily activities are going to be really messy. Because you have said that the word is now bond. And that means you have to justify what you've just said through your daily actions. Mm. Why? Whoa, whoa. Mm, should we do that? Mm, right? The whole of life is art. And what you think is broken may just be a temporary state. No, it is. Because this too shall pass. You see, many of us, we're looking over the fence. We're looking at someone else's life, wishing we had theirs looking at someone else's life, thinking their life is perfect and our life is broken. Many of us, we're placing way too much pressure on ourselves to achieve. So you want to get a doctorate. You want to do what your parents want. You want to work at this big company. But you have to ask yourself, are you taking care of yourself? Because you can't do none of that if you're not, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, can I get a hello there? So once you learn how to fall, learn how to fall, you realize that the only thing bad about falling is the ego. The ego will trick you into thinking there is something wrong with falling. No, you can't have up without down, right? When you fall, you now have a chance to rise. So without falling, there would be no rise. Without the darkness, 
you would not be able to see the stars. Mmm. We're going to be doing a lot of that. Mmm. Right? Many times, we don't see that every single day is totally different. Now, that seems very simple. But you see, many people forget that. I created a concept called the million dollar effect. Now, I've spoken about this in Magic Money, that it's all about our emotional bank balance. So let's just say I gave you a million dollars. Oh, my life is suddenly fixed. You see, so many of us, we're living from the outside in instead of from the inside out. So epigenetics, what is that? Let me break it down very simply for you. Scientists now know that perception governs DNA. That is why if you say my life is broken, your DNA is going to echo that sentiment. It's going to say DNA is broken. So all the areas in your life are going to be affected. Word is bond. So as a psychologist, I always tell people, instead of saying my life is a mess, say I'm just falling with style at the moment. I'll be up back soon. Can I get a hello there? I'll be up real soon, right? And it's okay to fall. There is no shame in it whatsoever. My life isn't perfect. I'm not a saint. I didn't come here to be perfect. I didn't come here to do what my parents want me to do. I didn't come here to do what society wanted me to do. I didn't come here to please you and to live up to your own to live up to your expectations. No, I came here to be authentic. If you can accept yourself, you can learn to heal yourself. Let me repeat that. If you can accept yourself, you can learn to heal yourself. If you can let go of this guilt, this shame, if you can learn how to forgive yourself, if you can realize your mistakes don't define you, no, not one bit. Because you see, everything in this world is in a regenerative process. When you cut yourself, it heals. So you have all the cells in your body working for you. Now let's talk about the million dollar effect. If I was to give you a million dollars, how do you feel? You, you would feel fantastic. Thank you, Ralph. I didn't give it to you yet. Can I get a hello there? Right, but it's just money, paper, right? But it governs our every single action. And that's why a lot of us feel broken because we have based our whole life on external gratification. If I was to take away all the money in your bank account, how would you feel? Broken or really happy? Happy if you have based your whole life on the inner, the inner, on the inner journey. That's the secret. You got to realize that you don't have to be this person that walks alone all the time. You don't have to carry the whole world on your back. Ask the cat down the road to do it for you. When you feel broken, that's the perfect time to invite new people into your life. People who don't judge you all the time. Because when you are broken, you're going to feel very vulnerable, very naked, very insecure. And that's why you got to be very selective of who you surround yourself with. you got to be very selective of the kind of energy you surround yourself with. What's helped me personally is not taking myself seriously, right? That's why I can share so freely because for me, it's fun. I get a kick out of this, right? But I do know when I'm going through really hard times, it's because I'm not in alignment to my true life purpose. 
you got to allow yourself the permission to let go of whatever is no longer serving you. Can I get a hello there? PPT. People no longer serving you. Places no longer serving you. And things no longer serving you. But you see, many of us, we're living upstairs all the time. So what I ask you to do today is to live downstairs for a change, which is your whole entire body. Turn to nature, right? There's a reason why I end up in heaven a lot. I go to nature a lot. I heal a lot. Um, woo, breathing in that good ass prana a lot. I'm not blaming myself for yesterday's actions because today is a new start. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy, but it becomes easier when you let go of this idea of being the perfect person. Let me repeat that. It becomes easier when you let go of this idea of being the perfect person, right? You didn't come here to do any of that. I certainly didn't. That's why I'm not doing it. Can I get a hello there? Take small steps. Forget about giant leaps. Be proud of what you're doing every single day. Write it down in a journal. Say, I did this, and this is bringing me closer to be more in alignment with my true life purpose. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise that you can't do whatever you came here to do. So once again, rewrite the story. Chapter one, not going so well, don't worry about it. Chapter two's coming. You don't like chapter one? Well, erase it. Let's start it again. Can I get a hello there? Picasso, baby. Can I get a hello there? Have a beautiful day. We're out here. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.